Welcome back everybody on this Tuesday uh, early, well late afternoon or early evening, however you look at it. Uh, we've gotten rid of the snow. The snow has gone through and as we were talking last night, uh, the farther north you went into Indiana or Illinois, the heavier the snow was. And of course, uh, here in Terre Haute, we got anywhere from a half an inch to about an inch of snow, and it wasn't any more than that. And then you go farther to the south, and there was barely any snow at all. And so that's pretty much the way it uh, played out. You can see right through here uh, where it went. And it's not impossible because we have clouds, and we've got a pretty good wind now starting to uh, kick up. So it's not impossible that we could have maybe a flurry or two tonight. But uh, that's not a big deal. That's not going to be the uh, major weather story. The major weather story is the temperature and the wind, and you put those together and you get wind chill. That's what we're talking about, and that's uh, the main concern. Paris has 13, Terre Haute 15, Rockville 12, and uh, so now the wind is from the northwest in Paris at 7, Terre Haute 9, and Robinson 9. 10 in Mattoon and the wind will increase over the next several hours, especially after dark. The wind picks up and the temperature continues to drop. Now the high today was 21. Then uh, when I was putting together uh, some of the statistics, it was 17 and then just before we went on the air, it dropped to 15. So the temperature is falling. Wind chill right now is three in Terre Haute, three in Rockville, two in Paris and uh, KZ8, Robinson 9 and Linton. Nine. So because of that, we have wind chill warning up here in this darker shaded area here. And then we have a wind chill advisory here. The bottom line is, if you are watching us on News 10, wind chill will be a danger for you if you go out with unprotected uh, clothing and if you spend any time outside without your mittens or earmuffs and things like that, because then you get frostbite and then you get into all kinds of problems. And so that's why we advise that you dress appropriately uh, if you have to go out. And if you do go out, uh, tell somebody where you're going and, and, and when you expect to be there. So here we have uh, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We get into the day tomorrow. Looks like we'll have some sunshine tomorrow. The only thing is the uh, overnight low tonight will be down to around two. We'll get up to about five tomorrow. Well, that's probably the best we'll do. We'll do five degrees for a high tomorrow. And then by tomorrow afternoon, probably by this time tomorrow, it will be below zero. So here's what we're dealing with. Windy and very cold, dangerous wind chill tonight, two for the overnight low. And then falling temps during the day tomorrow. Again, dangerous wind chill. Wind gusting to near 28 miles per hour. Tomorrow, a high of five. That'll be earlier. That'll be before now. By this time tomorrow, it'll probably be below zero. Down to eight below tomorrow night. Again, dangerous wind chill. And the seven-day forecast. Uh, Thursday, 16. Friday, 13. Saturday, 18. But again, on Thursday night, we could drop, or Friday night, we could drop down below zero. We'll moderate a little bit as we get into Sunday and Monday with temperatures 30 and 29 and 27.